but many other Republicans, like our next guest, support the inquiry. Joining me now is Congresswoman Nancy Mace, Republican of South Carolina. She's also a member of the House Oversight Committee. Thanks so much for coming back on the program. Really appreciate it. All right, so, so let's talk about this, about this impeachment inquiry. You would think that this would be the point where they've gathered enough evidence of high crimes and misdemeanors, and they're sort of finishing up the process. Are you concerned that this feels a bit more like a fishing expedition? I'm not. And actually, the inquiry part of it would expand our subpoena powers, for example. And I think that is a good thing. That's a step in the right direction here. Because, if Dan, if you could see some of the things that we've seen in the SARS reports and you couple it with corroborating information, whether it's text, text messages, emails, whistleblowers, witnesses, phone calls, you name it. Every time Joe Biden's been asked about this, he's lied about it. And so if, if we can expand our subpoena powers to an inquiry, I support it. If an inquiry gets us Joe Biden's bank records to confirm what we all believe, uh, then, then I'm okay with that as well. It's not the next step into a, an impeachment vote, which is something totally different, but it just expands our ability to investigate what DOJ, FBI, and IRS have not uh, fully done. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.